everybody and welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome my name is Alexis Michelle and if you are a returning subscriber thank you very much for your support so I hope you guys had a great first day so we are in today's Wednesday so we're like third day in hopefully you guys like it so far it's everything that you expected or whatnot but this is just the beginning so make sure that you stay focused and that you stay ambitious and stay on the grind because it definitely gets harder than what you are dealing with right now so hopefully everything is panning out for you and you like it so far i mean of course it's just the third day but hey hopefully you like it so today i drove all the way over to my clinical for no good reason because it was not clinical day clinical starts next week um that's me not paying attention i did not look at my schedule and look at the dates i was just ready to get this done and over with so that's why i'm in this little get up here i hate being in this blue uniform it's so ugly but that's neither here nor there so as promised, I definitely promise you guys to um, give y'all a video that is going to be very helpful for you new students at Galen, um, <clears throat> excuse me, which will definitely be helpful when you go to your intro to nursing class. I think it's called PSN or PS, PNS or some, something like that. But anyway, so it's a little, it's, it's a few classes down the line, but you can definitely start on your Galen checklist. which um, has everything that you need to do on it. So basically with the Galen checklist, this is like very uh, vital for you to get all these things done and you have to stay on top of them as long as you're in Galen. As, as long as you're a Galen school, um, student and you have clinicals, you have to stay on top of all of your immunizations for that whole time period that you're a student at Galen. Because um, working for HCA, you cannot not have those immunizations not up to date and you stand on top of them <clears throat> they will actually yank you out of your clinical class and then it'll just be a whole hassle of getting back into your clinical classes getting everything um, submitted over and making sure they look at it on time and make sure everything is just like in order so for you to avoid all that hustle and bustle and that hassle just go ahead and just get your immunizations done and stay on top of them you will get emails from a third party called castle branch so castle branch will email you anytime like you have something due or you have something um coming up or if they're not allowing you back into clinical because you're missing something so basically castle branch is where you're going to submit over all of your information all of your documentation for your shots and um your background check and your drug screening so with castle branch there it's a lot it's a it's it's very confusing but i'm definitely going to try to help um explain to the best of my ability to help y'all because it was no help for my cohort so I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the same way throughout but anyway so with castle branch that's the third party company for galen galen doesn't associate with castle branch and castle branch don't talk to galen castle branch is its own person so if you need to do something or if you can't figure something out you have to talk to castle branch directly you have to call them in their customer service but from my um dealings with castle branch it's pretty pretty straightforward i only had a hiccup maybe once or twice but other than that it's pretty straightforward okay so say you're already done with all of your immunizations you um uh what else you need it's just a shot record so say you're done with your galen checklist right and you have all of your paperwork showing that you have all your shots in x y and z 
So, what you need to do is do not take a picture with your phone. No iPhones, no Androids, because it's going to hinder you on the, on the next step. So, if you have someone who has a printer with a scanner, try to scan in your documents on the computer and save them to a file to where you can get to them. Save the file and then email it to yourself so you can get to it and you'll have it um, easy access on your phone and you can have it on the go. So, anytime that you need something, you can just pull it up, submit it, whatever. So, make sure you scan your documents in. Do not scan it on your phone because that's still technically taking a picture um, via Castle Branch. So they, I, I, this was one of my issues that I had with Castle Branch because on the um, iPhone there is a feature where you can scan a document in, but it's honestly really just taking a picture of it. So just scan your documents in like old school way on the printer and scan it into the computer so once you send over the information to yourself after you scanned it in via the printer or not the printer via the scanner um, then you can upload all of your files to your castle branch uh, hub basically because this is where everything is going to be stored so before I'm jumping ahead so before you can even upload it Galen is going to send you guys over a email this email is gonna say hey welcome to Galen X Y and Z um, you're about to come up on your nursing classes da, 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 da. you have to create this profile in Castle Branch so They're gonna give you a packaging number um, or a packaging code or whatever to get everything uploaded onto your profile. So once you do, you, you log in and you get everything set up and your files are there so you can start uploading. I mean, your, um, doc, your drop boxes are there so you can start uploading. You can take everything from your phone and just drop it in the, in the drop boxes. Now, here is where everyone gets like um, in a time crunch because they're like, oh, I'll do it. I'll do it later. I'll do it later. And then later becomes, oh, I have to do this shit like right now. So you don't want to be that person because with some of the certain shots that we have to get is it's a two step shot or you have to wait for the result shot like the TB test. With the TV test, it is um, 48 or 72 hours that you have to go get your TV test done, get it read, um, and get the results. So you have to be on top of certain stuff. So if you have a TV test that's due three days from now, but all of your work has to be submitted, all of your um, documents has to be submitted in by in two days or in one day, you're going to be sitting out because you don't have all of your documentations. They're not going to rush to get anything submitted or anything. Nothing is whenever they get time, they're going to do it. But they're fairly um, accurate and they, they kind of work really fast. So they're fairly good at getting things approved or rejected with Castle Branch. Castle Branch works really good maybe like one or two days max two days max i've never seen them go past two days without looking at your documents so that is like very vital like you definitely want to have all of your shot records lined up in order and ready have everything just on go because once you get into that intro to professional nursing class that's when everything really starts to like oh i need to get this done i need to get that done i need to get i need to go do this i need to get that so just make sure you have all of your documents in a paper form and also scanned in via a scanner onto an uh, onto a computer because it's just going to make life a lot easier on you
So say if, okay, you did everything, you had your physical, you got your shots, you did your background check, you did your screening, um, your background check, you did a drug screening, everything is already submitted, okay? So you, you submitted your stuff in Castle Branch. Now, here comes the other part. You have to take everything that you just submitted over in Castle Branch also into Bridges, because Bridges and Castle Branch is not the same thing, so please don't let it confuse you, because it confused the crap out of everybody, and it still is just like, what? What is this? Okay, so you have Castle Branch and you have CB Bridges. They're all under this one website, but they don't talk to each other. <laughs> So you have to take everything that you already uploaded and submit it over into your Bridges account as well. It's the same exact thing that you did in um, in Branches. So the same way they have like little drop boxes, they're gonna have drop boxes in Bridges as well. You just gotta, the same thing that you have, submit it over, just submit it over. Um, so Branches is where you learn um, what clinical site you're gonna be at who's gonna be your teacher what time you got to be there X Y and Z um, But nothing really special, but you just have to really stay on top of your shot records and stuff Another tip flu shots are yearly so Even if it's not flu season just go get your shot like just get your shot for the year and call it a day if you don't want to get your shot Without, without it being flu season, then you're risking the, ten, the chance of not being able to go to your clinical site. Who wants to do that? Who wants to argue with people about, oh, it's not flu season, why should I get the flu shot? Just go get the shot, just, just go get the shot. We all have to do it, just go get the shot. Also, if you do not wanna have a COVID shot, you cannot attend Galen, so you gotta get the COVID shot. I was very much against getting COVID shot, but I wanted to become a nurse, so I had to go get the COVID shot. I got the COVID shot by, I think it was, I think it was Pfizer, I think, I don't know. Whichever one that's the two, I had to get one, and then 21 days later, I had to get the other one. But I did not get the booster shot. I am not getting the booster shot. I've done my COVID shots that y'all wanted me to do, that's mandatory. Anything else COVID, I'm not getting nothing else. Like I did what I had to do. That is it. Um, I get I, this was my first time ever getting the flu shot. I didn't get sick. Um, so I'm on flu shot number two as of right now, and I, I've never gotten sick from the shot. So I'm just thankful that everything is working out because I was totally against COVID shots and flu shots. But if you want to be a nurse, this is what you have to do. You have to protect yourself to protect the older and younger people. So if you don't want to get the shot, then you are in the wrong place. But yeah, so that is very critical to all of my new students. All of my new students, go get your shots. Go get your shots, go get your physicals, and you have to wait and do your drug test and your background checks. So, but you already did a background check through Galen anyway. So I think the background check just like um, transfers over from Galen anyway. So you don't have to really worry about that. I don't think so. I, don't, I can't remember. Even if you do, I think you just have to like put in your first name, last name, date of birth, and your social and your driver's license and everything. And then they'll just do the background check. That's nothing that you really have to worry about doing. So once you insert your package code and everything populates for you to start dropping information, you just go to the one that says background screening and I believe you just fill out the information and then submit it over and they'll do the background check. Oh, also with the drug screening. So with the with the with the drug screening, you have to click on the um the tab for the drug screening and then it's going to say something about activate or something like that and you have to wait 1 to 2 days for the the form to actually activate and you have to print out that form and take it to I believe it's like LabCorp or or Quest you have to take it to one of those and then you give that paper to them and then they'll give you like a receipt saying that you did the drug screening and then um after that they'll do the rest of it for you so 
the background track and the drug screening is like the main two easier um easiest things so if you are a person that's from like out of town or um you just don't have your shot records or something like that you can definitely go to your school um i don't know how to call it for a different state but for where i am in florida well i'm in tampa so um i just went to hillsborough county schools and i got all of my shot records from when i was a kid in school so they just gave they um actually gave it to me right there and it was only like 15 dollars so i just um took a i scanned all that paperwork in for my shot records and just submitted it over to um castle branch and they accepted it the only thing you have to do is just look at what's what you got and then what they're asking for like what are the requirements because i know one of them like um tdap i think you have to have two rounds of tdap when you're a kid sometimes you only get one or whatever so you have to get that second one but i when i first started like, um started gagling i had to go get so many shots again i had to get the two covid shots the tb shot um the flu shot i got uh i think i had to get a technic shot too i'm like Lord, yeah i did have to get a technic shot because it was past my 10 years oh i had to get so many shots then i had to go pay for a physical um what else did i have to do it was like so much it was a lot of like running around doing stuff and checking those boxes because you just don't want to be that person that has to sit out because you forgot to get a fucking shot so definitely have your checklist printed out on your phone whatever you is convenient for you but definitely make sure you have stuff organized and you keep a folder where you have all of your records and everything because if push on the shove and you know you did it you can have it like right there on hand and you can just submit it over but other than that that's all i really wanted to come on and tell you guys because castle branch is sometimes tedious but it's a lot of work and you have to get started on it early so once you enter the um professional or introduction to professional nursing class definitely start getting ready on your shots get caught up on everything that you need um but other than that it's it's pretty good once you get like everything submitted in and you're done it's like ooh, you don't have to worry about that because you will see everybody else in your class struggling sweating bullets trying to get stuff done and it's not gonna work because it's just not gonna work because you have to get stuff in by a certain time and if you don't meet that deadline you will be sitting out that quarter and then you're pushing your graduation date back for no good reason so but yeah um hopefully this was informational hopefully this was helpful um to someone i hope you guys enjoyed your first day at school you are on a great journey i love galen on my next video i'm gonna tell you more but I just wanted to make this video very direct to the new students but anyways have a great day welcome to school um keep pushing you are one step forward to becoming a nurse so again don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i love you guys have a great day